My Encanto dreams are about to come true. I recently saw the movie Encanto! And in it, they had some really delicious food, including Colombian buñuelos and arepa con queso. And so today, I thought we would try making them. She's making it right there, look. Disney did not release a recipe for the arepas con queso, so I'm gonna be using a recipe from the YouTube channel Cooking with Ginny. I'll put a link to her recipe in the description below. So the first thing we're gonna do is add warm water. Oh, and in the comments below, let me know what your favorite song from Encanto is. Um, I think mine was the, um, the surface pressure song. That one was really good. And of course, we don't talk about Bruno. It's like so good. We're gonna salt the water. Use uh, two cups of pan. This is like the magic thing that you really, really do need in order to make. It is a pre-cooked white cornmeal. I went to like four different Mexican supermarkets to find it. We're supposed to add it slowly. It feels like cream of wheat. Um, if you guys have had that before. It's more. When I was watching the movie, I was like, oh, I'm getting so hungry. But we're gonna add half a cup of room temperature butter. Mozzarella cheese. Half a cup. She's like, I smell food. Ta-da! <laughs> Beautiful. It has been 10 minutes. Can you tell? <laughs> no. Are you gonna have an arepas con queso later? I have this presto skillet here, which I thought we would try using. We are making a ball, a golf ball size arepa here. And then you kind of like make a little hole inside. Then we take some cheese and we stuff it in. Back to making a ball. And then we start making it into a pancake by kind of like... And that's how you get the cheese inside of the arepa without having to like cut it open. My first arepa! <laughs> just like the mom did. We just constantly keep flipping, I think, until it's done. This kind of reminds me of mochi. <laughs> Gatsby watched Encanto too. When you push on the center, it should feel hollow. So I, I think that's this. I'm so ready. My first time! Ta-da! My Encanto dreams are about to come true! Ah. Ooh. Mm. It tastes like a uh, corn tortilla, kinda, but more bready. It's really good, but a little bit bland. Maybe I should have used a better cheese. I would probably put something with this. The outside is like nice and crispy, the inside is like gooey cheese. Mm. It's good. I feel like it just needs something more. My, all my cuts are gonna go away. Daspi, are you gonna try an arepa? We're gonna have a little piece. What do you think? <laughs> he doesn't. You don't like arepa con queso? <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, next it's time for us to make some Colombian buñuelos. Disney actually did provide the recipe for us. So let's get started. We have just like a long list of ingredients that we need to mix together. Step one, in a mixing bowl, add cassava flour, cornstarch, queso, it's good. Sugar, salt, baking powder, softened butter, egg, uh, milk. Mix with your hands until fully combined. Check it out. Step two, in a medium pan, heat oil on high for about three minutes. Step three, divide the dough into 32 equal portions. I think you just divide it in half. Divide it. I think this would be small enough. We just make it into a ball. Have you guys had buñuelos before? I've never had it, so I don't I don't even know what to expect. Okay. Step four, fry three to four buñuelos at a time. Four. I think these are supposed to be floating the whole time, and it's not floating because I used a really big pan. Step five, place them on a paper towel and drain excess oil. Serve right away, but be careful since they'll be a bit hot. That was not at all what I expect it. It's really salty. This one reminds me of like the Costco pizza crust. <laughs> the consistency is nice, softer. There's cheese in there. It is kind of a little too salty. I think I should have used unsalted butter. I think the arepas con queso was a lot better. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you saw Encanto. It's time for us to start the vlog.
this. Check it out. Do you guys like Tapatio? I think I like Cholula a little bit more. Is this gonna be really spicy? Okay, so this looks like regular <laughs> stuff. I think this is the only difference for the Tapatio. We'll see. It definitely looks really spicy. Three minutes. Will it be a celebration of Mexico? <laughs> so it smells like beans, like um, like burrito, like the black beans in a burrito. That's what it smells like. It's not bad. Um, it's, it is spicy. It tastes like um, the hot sauce. I think that the difference between this and like regular ramen is that this one has more of like a spicy tomato soup base. It kind of like a minestrone soup. And then versus like ramen, which is like more like soy sauce based. I would say if you're a fan of those frozen burritos that you get like breakfast burritos at the supermarket, um, you'll like this. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody! I hope you guys had a really good New Year's. First off, Gatsby and I want to thank these awesome fans right over here. Check them all out. Rocking the Corgi on Fleek merchandise. All of our merchandise from Christmas. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. I hope if you got your Corgi on Fleek merchandise that you enjoyed it. Everyone is sharing so much love with us. What do you think, Gatsby? And with our new year, we have, of course, our new 2022 calendar that we're finally able to start hanging up. Make sure if you didn't get your calendar to grab it. This year, all the photos are taken by Koki Yamaguchi, who is a famous photographer who I flew over from Japan for this photo shoot. And I thought I would give you guys a behind the scenes look at another photo taken from the calendar. This time, let's do March. So Koki is here and we're going to give you a behind the scenes look. I wanted a photo where there were corgis in the crosswalk. What's up? <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be our spot right over here. Koki's gonna set up all this equipment. Look at all that. This photo was actually pretty technically tricky for us to do. The main thing that we decided was to take a photo in the morning during sunrise, and that caused a lot of problems. The light changed so quickly that it was really hard to get all of the shots of Gatsby. And since the light kept changing and the shadows kept moving, it really just didn't turn out. We ended up attempting to take this photo three different days. The second time, it didn't turn out as well because when we got there, the low window washers came and they're gonna block our light. So we're gonna have to reshoot this some other day. We are back on day three. This time, we were very quick at taking the photos. We we're like, we have like 15 minutes to take like 50 pictures of Gatsby in all these different positions. If you look really carefully in the background, there are like tons of corgis there. Yeah, including you. <laughs> oh yeah, if you look very carefully, I'm there too. Wow! So don't forget, if you want to get a Corgi on Fleet calendar, now is a good time to get one at the beginning of the year, where you can enjoy all the photos. It is time for me to head off to the gym. Today I'm gonna to hit some legs. See you guys at the gym. My uh, goal for the past year is work on my legs. I think I'm seeing some pretty good gains there. See you guys back home. Right now I am currently working on the Valentine's drop, which will be coming relatively soon. I thought I would give you a sneak peek at one of the new products that we've been working on. A new t-shirt! Japanese Kogi on Furiku pocket. Over the past few weeks I was working on getting the colors just right. These are printed on the super, super soft Comfort Colors brand. That will be available with quite a few other products in a few weeks. Yes, should we go to the park? You wanna go? Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh, I'm so ready. I just wanna see the It must be dinner time. I have been 
so addicted to the specific thing at Chipotle. I thought I would just share with you guys when I get back home. Okay, so it's not a trick. It's just something that I feel like lots of people don't know about my chicken bowl. I would highly suggest trying this out. Get a Chipotle salad. And before you think, oh my gosh, ew, salad, I still just get rice and like chicken and everything on it. So it's basically just a burrito bowl. But the main thing that comes with the salad is the vinaigrette. And this is so good. A lot of the times they don't even have the vinaigrette. So what I usually do is when I get to Chipotle, I always ask them, do you have the vinaigrette? And they're always like, oh, he knows. This makes your Chipotle taste so good. It brings your Chipotle meal to like a whole new level. Super tangy and has like lots of different spices on it, but it tastes so good. One of my friends is like, I was crying, it was so good. I check into Chipotle each time. It just notified me that I checked into Chipotle for the 603rd time. Mmm, it's good. It's so good. So next time you go to Chipotle, try that out. Uh, what is all of this? Oh my gosh. Where did that come from? I wonder. Five seconds ago. What's this from? Okay, so before we go to bed, Gatsby and I wanted to give you guys a quick announcement. We are considering doing some Gatsby Corgi NFTs. If we launch these NFTs, they will include exclusive content and discounts to our store for the NFT holders. And so if that is something that you're interested in, if you wanna be one of the first people to get the NFT, make sure to click on the Discord link in the description below and sign up. And that will really help me gauge whether there is enough interest. Other than that, we are gonna get heading to bed. I wanna wish everyone again a happy new year. I'm pretty sure 2022 is gonna be incredible. Make sure to grab our Corgi on Fleek merchandise at corgionfleek.com and click on the Discord link if you are interested in getting a Gatsby Corgi NFT. Good night! Hey Gatsby, should we try some winter TikTok hacks? One of our longtime viewers, Valerie, suggested